All right, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. I just got done seeing Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I was one of the first people in the world to see this film. And I've got to say, as a massive MCU fan, huge proponent of the Marvel. I take Marvel over DC you know, eight days out of the week. I have a qualified opinion that I'm going to share as a professional film critic and as a lover of cinema. So here it goes. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, without a single solid second guess. The worst film of 2022, the worst MCU film to date and an absolute stain. An absolute unremovable Tide Pod can't fix this stain on the entirety of cinema's history. Now, again, don't take this as me just saying the movie sucks, which, spoiler, it does. As some troll on the internet, I am a massive MCU fan. I've seen all the MCU movies, the uh, 56 of them that are out right now. I've been down with the MCU since it started back in 1989. I know the MCU's history, Marvel's cinematic universe. I've seen all the films, and there are some great ones. There are some that, that are really, really good, like Thor The Dark World or The Eternals. Absolute peaks of cinematic history that will go down in the annals of movie history forevermore. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a skid mark on the underpants of action popcorn summer blockbusters. Which, by the way, how stupid is it <laughs> to release a summer blockbuster like this in the middle of November? <laughs> oh, leave it to Disney, man. Leave it to Disney. You know... This movie sucks on so many fronts. It really does. The story makes absolutely no sense. It's literally a been there, done that. Like, this is called Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Pretty sure we spent about 95% of the OG Black Panther in Wakanda. So why do we need to stay in Wakanda? Why, why do we need to base the entire film in Wakanda? Why can't this be Black Panther Indonesia or Black Panther Bangladesh? You know, give us some fresh settings to see this entire cast and crew put in performances of a lifetime. But nope, they're relegated to phone it in for those fat Marvel paychecks. And you people are going to line up to see this day one. Bet a bunch of you already have your tickets pre-ordered. It's just a sad state of affairs when movies that come out with actual talented writers, actual talented directors, and a cast that's passionate about the project, like Morbius, are overshadowed by trash like Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Oh, you know, I mean, if you're, if you're looking for a movie that just showcases the fact that any idiot can pick up a camera and call themselves a director, I mean, this is it. I mean, you talk about an incohesive story, CGI doing all the heavy lifting, all right? I don't believe for a second that this film had these actors put in doing any of their own stunts, which is why Tom Cruise is the greatest actor of all time, and that'll never be topped. Uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is just a complete and colossal failure on every single front. I can't think of a single thing that this film does that any other MCU film does not do and does not do better. I would rather watch Thor Ragnarok over on repeat again and again and again. I'd rather torture myself with that mediocrity than sit through the disappointment that is Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Because again, there's no logic in the story. There's no emotional arc to the characters. There's absolutely no cohesive writing. There's no hard-hitting character beats. The action's all over the place. Shaky cam. It feels like J.J. Abrams directed this. I mean, it's just such an astronomical failure. It really is. And I, I'm done making excuses. I, I'm completely done making excuses for these filmmakers. I'm done making excuses for these actors. I'm done making excuses for anybody associated with this garbage. It's time we start holding these people accountable for what they're putting out. And we can do that united together on release day of Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, we all go out and instead of seeing generic popcorn action superhero movie trash, 
we instead all buy tickets to Black Adam. Black Adam has everything, everything. The Black Panther delivers and more. It's got more compelling character arcs. It's got better action. It's got better CGI. It's got an absolute Oscar-worthy performance, a very emotional, very nuanced performance from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's got every single thing, every single box that you can imagine you'd want ticked in a film like this and more. It's my personal guarantee and my personal pick for movie of the year. And if you're not down with that, you might be. You just might be part of the problem. The other thing that you have to consider is, who benefits from this, right? It's not like the MCU is going under anytime soon. So we have to reconsider. What, in three months, there's going to be a couple more MCU films dumped out, just like there were, what, I don't know, 12 that came out this year? Not to mention the amount of complete catastrophes that are becoming the MCU TV shows. It's too much to keep up with. It really is. Pretty soon, they're going to expect us to shove IVs in our veins and just consume Marvel content 24-7. It'll be like a drip feed. Like, how's anybody who's actually out here working for a living supposed to keep up with this stuff? There's too much. Oh, wait, yeah, they're not targeting the working adults. They're targeting those who are sitting at home in their mother's basement collecting a fat disability paycheck because they're too lazy to get up and go out and be productive members of society. That's just too much work for them. But I'll tell you what isn't too much work for them. Going online and pre-ordering tickets for every MCU film that comes out, no matter how bad they get, no matter how low they sink, no matter how far the bar drops, they're going to be there day one, hyped up for all the 13 end and mid credit scenes that Marvel shoehorns into their films to make sure you sit there in that theater seat all the way through to the very, very end for what is something you just could have looked up online before. It's a joke. It's a really bad joke. And the fact that you people have fallen for it time and time again, it, this movie sucks. There's no other way around it. There's no other way to phrase it. It's garbage. It's trash. It is literal waste. And I'm not going to spare you the truth. You've been coddled far too long. And it's time somebody rose up amongst you and speaks the truth. And that is why I'm here. That's why I'm here. You're my flock. I'm your shepherd. All you need to do is fall to your knees, profess loyalty, swear fealty to me, and I will take you to the promised land. The church of dead metal does not harbor ill will against the lost. We simply seek to guide you back on the path. And I can guarantee you just as sure as the sun will come up tomorrow. That if you are looking for the path of righteousness, if you are seeking to live a positive life, it is not found in a movie theater seeing Black Panther Wakanda forever.